All right, I'm on a roll today. So I'm making the third video of the day, part 16. I made one yesterday as well. So 13, 14, 15, and now 16 in just the past two days. So if you're getting behind, I'm mentioning this because it's when I crank out that many videos over a short period, it's easy to maybe see a recent one pop up in your feed and you're not <clears throat> um, aware of the fact that I just posted two or three prior to it. So make sure you go back and watch those or listen to those. Um, ideally, you'll go back to the very first part if you haven't and just listen to this whole thing straight through because there's a lot of context that you're not going to get if you're just coming in into the middle of this um, without any, you know, any other context. So, okay, we're picking up again in Matthew 4. We covered the first four verses um, in the last video. Now we're going to cover 4 through 7. I'm sorry, 5 through 7. So we saw that the devil from chapter 4, verse 1, is Yahweh from Deuteronomy 8, verses 2 and 3. Yahweh being the tester or the tempter. He tempted his people with hunger, starvation, thirst, to see how they would react, to see what was in their heart, he said. Now, we also saw Jesus using Yahweh's own words from the Torah, from the Pentateuch, throwing Yahweh's own words back at him. Um, demonstrating that Yahweh was not being consistent with his own words. And Jesus is going to do the same thing here. So it starts out, verse 5, Then the devil took him up, i.e. Jesus, into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you. Quoting Psalm 91, And in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, It is written again. And these are Yahweh's own words, so he's quoting the devil's own words back at him. You shall not tempt the Lord your God. So where is Jesus getting that? He's getting that from Deuteronomy 6 just two chapters earlier than the chapter he quoted a few verses before in Matthew 4. So let me read where the original quote that Jesus is quoting, where it came from, by starting with uh, a couple verses before it. I guess we'll start with verse 13. <clears throat> or let's start, start with verse 14. Um, you shall not go after different gods, the gods of the nations around you, because the Lord your God is a jealous God among you, lest the anger of the Lord your God be aroused against you and destroy you from the face of the earth. You shall not tempt the Lord your God as you tempted him in the temptation. What is the temptation? You'd have to go back to Exodus 17 for that. What Yahweh is calling the temptation is when the people cried out in the desert that they were thirsty and that they had no water. That is... Um, the text where God commands Moses to take his rod and then to speak to this rock. 
that water might pour forth from it for the people to drink. And of course, that's the famous text where Moses, in his anger, strikes the rock, the rock with the rod instead of speaking to the rock, which became the whole basis for Yahweh <clears throat> prohibiting Moses from entering the Promised Land. So, uh, you know, because Yah because Moses disobeyed him in that instance. Now, what I want to bring out in this video, very briefly, which is going to go hand in hand with what we discussed in the last video, is that J the book of James teaches that God is not tempted. God cannot be tempted, and God does not tempt or test, even though Yahweh says that's precisely what he does. Yahweh explicitly says to his own people, as we saw in the last video, Deuteronomy 8, that he specifically tested them in the wilderness by dealing with them harshly. James 1.13 says, let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. Okay, so this goes right along with what we've been saying about the Father of Jesus not being Yahweh, because the Father of Jesus does not tempt or test. The devil tempts Jesus in Matthew 4, verse 1. It says that the Spirit led Jesus up into the wilderness in order to be tempted by the devil. And we find out that the devil is Yahweh because Yahweh is the tempter or tester in the Old Testament. We also saw from the Lord's Prayer that the people were to pray, lead us not into temptation. The prayer starts out, Our Father who art in heaven. And then they ask their Father not to lead them into temptation. So the Father doesn't tempt. Therefore the Father is not Yahweh. But deliver us from the evil one. That's Yahweh. Yahweh the devil, the tempter, the tester. And now James is just reinforcing that. God cannot be tempted, nor does he tempt anyone. So when Jesus says, "You shall not," when he, when he quotes Yahweh's words, you shall not tempt the Lord your God, Jesus isn't saying that he believes God can genuinely be tempted. He's simply showing Yahweh once again, he's tripping Yahweh up over his own words in Deuteronomy six. All right. This was a short one. Uh, it's over now. That's all I wanted to say there. And we actually have, I think, uh, one more video to do based on Matthew four.